What is up YouTube? This is the Vault here today and I got you guys a Savage Strike sneak peek opening today. And really awesome, just went to my locals, participated in the event and got these lovely 15 Savage Strike packs back for you guys. So a little bit early than um, next week's uh, booster box release so we get to see what some cool cards we have in the Savage Strike pack coming up. And yeah. I'm gonna open them up. I can't quite remember exactly what new stuff is in this pack, but I think um, for sure we have a uh, Borrowed uh, Savage Dragon, which is a Synchro Monster, and also the other uh, Cybers Quantum Dragon, which is uh, Yusaku's uh, Synchro Monster, and that's really, really cool. I think we have some Shurinui support, as I believe, since there's uh, the promo card, which is Shurinui Squire Saga. Uh, really, really cool new synchro card for the Shiro Nui's. I really like the design and the artwork of this because you can even see. Um, I think I think that spectral sword, Shiro Nui spectral sword behind at the background, fading in as a soul at the cool, which is really really nice. And you know, if you guys like the Shiro Nui um, archetype, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also we have a uh, yeah. So what other stuff is in this pack? I oh yes. For sure, I remember there are new uh, Elemental Hero Neo supports in this. So Neo Spatian, new really really epic cool Neo Space cards, new fusion monsters, new supports. That really really helps uh, make the Neo Spatian deck even even better. And also there's, yeah, I can't quite remember what else there is also in this pack. But anyways, well, let's find out. You know, it's better if I don't remember because then we can find out more and it gets more exciting when we open these packs. So let's get cracking. Also, you guys comment down below on your favorite archetype from the Savage Strike Pack. And also, if you guys have participated in your sneak peek in your locals. Alright, the first one. So, this is, looks like a UA card, but not exactly. So, it's a generic card. So, Lost Time. We've got Shirinui Swordmaster. Performer Pal Claybreaker. And then we've got the Guard Dragon uh, LP. Alright. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, basically, the Guard Dragon archetype. Uh, from the World Chalice series is also in this pack, so it's really cool. There's lots and lots of different types of guard dragons, and it'll be really cool if we can make a deck out of it too. And we have a uh, World Legacy World Arc, and we have Clock Lizard, uh, Super Armor Robot, Armored Black Iron Sea, so one of the um, Max C series with the cockroaches and all that. And we have Time Thief Hack. And Shirunui, Shirunui style success. Okay, let's put a hollow card here. Uh, we have Salaman Great Power. Update Jam. TG Tank Grub. Oh yeah, so the new TG supports are in this set as well. So TG is basically Tech Genesis, which was part of... Um, I can't remember the character's name. Was it Axel? Yeah, I can't remember the uh, character's name, but he, he was in uh, 5Ds with the one who uses all these um, machine-like and warrior-type guys, and he uses Synchro Summoning, which which is a really, really cool concept. So it's like very techy information. And then we have uh, Trickstar Band Sweet Guitar, which is the uh, Trickstar's fusion monster. Although I think this should have came out in Soul Fusion instead, could have made more sense since it was a fusion card, but you know. At least we got it, which is really nice. And we have a uh, Detonate Deleter, Salaman Great Wolvi, and Shirunui Squire Saga as a common. And we have uh, Cyber's Wicked. So right there, you can see the holo card and the common card. So holo holographic, like as a ultra rare, is definitely much, much, much more cooler. Oh, we got the Legendary Secret of the Six Samurai. So this card has been up for the V-Jump in the OCG for a long while. So I'm really glad that we finally got this. And we got the Prank Kids Roxies. Uh, Shinobi Necro. And we got the jo Guard Dragon uh, Argar Pain. Wow, it looks really cool. Fascinating. I really like the design of the Guard Dragons. Because they look just really, really nice with the details. And very majestic. And then we have a Guard Dragon Shield. Guard Dragon uh, Jessica, Time Thief Winder, Edge of the Ring, Salmon Great Foxer. So yeah, we can see that there's quite a few uh, Salamon Great cards as well in here in Savage Strike. So there'll be probably be more and more Salamon Great cards coming up in 
packs, newer packs, because you know we have that character who uses Salamand great in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Link Reigns. A new space connector. So this card was a uh, holo variant. Uh, yeah, a, hol a holographic promo variant from Soul Fusion Special Edition. So which is really good. Trickstar Life Stage. So that's our first secret rare. Wow. Really nice. I'm not sure if this card was a uh, short printed or not. I think it's actually quite rare to get, and it's really, really new good support for Trick Stars. So, really good, cool. We've got Speed Burst Dragon, so one of the new Rocket series. Sub Terra Secession. Uh, Extra Ceratops. Orcus Nightmare. Sub Terra Guru. Wow, really nice. Looks really cool. Right, so that's our first secret rare. Let's see if we can get more. Uh, really, really want to get more of those uh, new space cards, like one of the newest fusions or the new elemental hero fusions. That'll be really great. So we've got Cyber's Integrator, Child's Play, Shun Shunri uh, Sword Saga, and then we have uh, Prank Kids Roxies, and we got next. All right, really cool. So we got the new um, Neo Space and Trap card. So basically what it does is special summon any number of monsters with different names from your hand or graveyard and defense position that are all Neospatient monsters or elemental hero Neos, but it negate their effects. And as long as you control any of those special summon monsters face up, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except for fusion monsters. You can only activate uh, one next once per turn. If you control no cards, you can activate this card from your hand. So it's really, really good. You can really, really quickly bring out all those Neospace uh, monsters and Neospatians together in one go. And then you can quickly basically contact fusion stuff, shuffle them back into your deck, which makes the whole uh, archetype much, much more more consistent. And then we have a TG Screw Serpent, so a new uh, TG card. Then we've got Squirt Squid. Then we've got Time Thief Hack. Uh, Cyber's Converter. To end off from this pack. Alrighty. So again, we have Update Jammer, Shun Resource Master, Orchestrated Release, uh, Time Thief uh, Redior, and then we have a Guard Dragon Pitsy. Alright, so we got the left side of that Guard Dragon. So we got uh, LP and Pitsy, because they put together and they co-link. Really cool. Wow, very nice. I really love the designs of that. Fantastic. So, so far all our hollows have been different, which is absolutely great. And then we've got Hyper Psychic Riser, Clock Lizard, Salmon Great Foxer, and Edge of the Ring. Wow, really happy about the hollows. Uh, Prank It's Roxy's again. Salmon Great Peril, Update Jammer, Neos Fusion. Perfect. Wow. So, special summon one fusion monster from your extra that lists exactly two monster materials, including elemental humanos, by sending those from your hand, deck, or field, ignoring its summoning condition. So, also for the rest of the turn after this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters. If a fusion monster you control that lists elemental humanos as a material will be destroyed by battle or card effect, or shuffle in the extra deck by its own effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. So, yeah. This is absolute must play right now. It's basically like when Miracle Contact first came out and this is basically the next level of it. Being able to do Neos Fusion just makes it really, really, really more fast and consistent and easy to bring out your Neos cards. So really great, really happy, but we still haven't got any of those Fusion ones yet, but it'd be really nice if we do. Cause it looked, the designs look amazing. I've seen the artworks and they're probably just really, really cool. So we have a Shirin Resource Saga again. Guard Dragon uh, Core Awakening. I'm gonna look at this artwork. Really like the divide on this. Very nice. I really like the story behind uh, World Chalice. I actually want to find out more about it. Let you guys let me know down below where I can read about it. So I'm very curious. Time Thief uh, Bezel Ship. Thunderclap Monk. Alright, so this is one of the normal uh, rare cards. And then we have uh, Fusion of Fire. Uh, Super Armor Robot, Arm Black Iron Sea. That's a long name, by the way. Subterra Secession and Cyber's Wicked. Once again. So around halfway there. And yeah, once again, all the hollows we've gotten so far are different from each other. I'm really happy about this opening so far. TG Tank Grub, Shirni Style Solemnity, Guard Dragon uh, Garmites, 
looks really cool Neos Fusion again okay so our first uh, of the same copy of the card and then we have Guard Dragon and Drake once again beautiful design lovely I love that fiery effect and wind effect um, that combines together for that Guard Dragon cool really really cool and then Orcus Nightmare Psychic Tracker and Clock Lizard and Salomon Great Foxer so the other Salomon Great card that was blue and looks like a fox as well as like Salomon Great Foxy I remember and not too sure what they do together but uh yeah soul burner structure deck is coming out very soon so we're definitely going to be doing an opening on that and i heard Saiyan greats are going to be a really really powerful archetype oh legendary secret six of the six samurai again oh we got tg star guardian all right as an ultra rare really cool so one of the new tg monsters and it's a synchro tuner as well which is really really cool and 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 he basically this this card looks exactly like that character which I, again, I forgot his name. I think it was Axel, but I don't really know. You guys let me know in the comment section below. But, wow, really nice. Really cool. Awesome. And then we got the Impactation uh, Chalice Slime. So our first Impactation uh, Ritual Monster. And look at that angry little cup. Or chalice, whatever it is. Then we got TG Booster Raptor. Alright, another TG card. Impactation Inception. Uh, Guard Dragon uh, Prominus. Very nice. We got a really good range and variety of cards uh, from opening these packs so far. So, really glad. Because I remember last time, uh, if you guys have checked, uh, when I was opening the Soul Fusion sneak peek, um, a lot of the cards were very consistently the same again and over and again. And I felt like, you know, they did it on purpose. But this time, it feels a lot more different. And we got Final Light. Wow, very nice. So, it's one of the Valkyrie supports. And it basically helps you... Um, special summon them, which is really really nice really cool Actually, I didn't even know that card was in this and then we got Apple of Enlightenment seems like another Valkyrie card All right Subterra Guru Time Thief Winder Winder or TG Booster Raptor So yeah, once again the variety has been really nice so far with the sneak peek I'm definitely excited to open the booster box so you guys be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the upcoming booster box Don't forget to click on the notification bell because those videos will be coming up very, very soon. And then we have uh, Shirinui Spectral Sword Shade. Very nice. Once again, love the Spectral Sword and Shirinui designs. I mean, look at that ghosty effect that they have holding the sword. And I'm really curious about their uh, story as well behind it. Because I'm not too sure. I never read upon it. But if you guys know, comment down below. Uh, Trickstar Fusion. So basically, it will help you bring out that Trickstar Fusion monster we got earlier. Oh, Red Rising Dragon. So yeah, once again, this card was in the V-Jump for uh, OCG for a long, long while. And finally, finally we got this card. Definitely going to be adding it to my uh, Red Dragon Archfiend deck. Cybers uh, Converter. And then Shirinui Squire, uh, Squire Saga, once again. Alright, three packs left. So we're almost at the end there. Let's see, whoa, we still haven't got those uh, Elemental Hero Neos Fusions yet, so we still might have luck. Really, really excited to get one of those, but don't worry. Oh, so we've got Faithful Hour. So this is, uh, you can see Mayakashi's in there, which is really cool. I love the Mayakashi design, especially uh, this card. I forgot what's his name again, but the one with the fox and that's magical powers. But target one monster that cannot be normal summon slash set in either graveyard and push summon it. Wow, seems really good. Oh no, but it doesn't ignore summoning conditions. So I think you have to fulfill um, its conditions or first before uh, you can use it. Not too sure about the ruling, but we'll find out soon. And we got our first uh, Salamang Great Sunlight Wolf, the Link Monster of Salamang Greats. Really nice. And I got Impactation Inception, Cyber's Converter, and Summon Over. Really interesting artwork. Uh, the first one that we got in this from the set. So two packs left. So yeah. You know, it's okay we can't end with the Elemental Hero uh, Fusion Monster, as we're getting close. But it would be really nice if we do. Because, um, since you know, since we're opening a booster box around next week, so definitely be sure to check that out. And hopefully we'll be able to get one of that. Shirunui Squire. Alright. Oh, okay, so it's really interesting. So, Shirunui Squire looks just like Shirunui uh, Squire Saga. So I think it's kind of like when um, the Shirunui monsters like kind of like retrain or evolve combined once with the Spectral Sword or something. Once they tune out and synchro summon together, they basically like become stronger. 
and then they have a like an enhanced uh, version of themselves, which is really cool. Rocket Synchro basically used to summon a Burl Savage Dragon, which we still haven't gotten yet. So, you know, our last pack, maybe this card is short printed. Who knows? I know I heard this card, uh, uh, Burl Savage Dragon is like really, really strong. It's one, one of the top most sought cards right now from this set. And I'm, I'm very sure if it is and it's going to be meta changing, then I mean, Konami definitely short printed. I mean, not meta changing, but as in like very relevant to the meta game. So, well, for our last pack, let's see what we have right here. Oh, it's an effect monster for a uh, holographic, and we got Thunderclap Mom. Unfortunate. Couldn't end with a even better, better, bigger bang. But, you know, very satisfied for what we pulled out so far. And this is just a couple of 15 packs of sneak peek. And really excited to open the booster box next week. So, once again, be sure to stay tuned to check that out. So, let's do a quick recap. So, we got quite a few uh, Thunderclap Monks. Um, we only pulled one secret rare out of all these packs, which was a Trickstar Life stage, but still really happy. And we got a lot of um, Guard Dragons, Link Monsters. We got these three, which is really cool. Uh, Trickstar Band, uh, Sweet Guitar. Very nice. So you can see the variety is quite nice, the mix. So really happy about this opening, because the last one, once again, with the other sneak peek of Soul Fusion, we got very... Uh, a repetition of a lot of the same cards over and over again, even with the hollows, and you know that wasn't not very happy about that. But you know I'm glad this time we got it. And since we opened 15 packs, so we got sh three Shirunui uh, Squire Sagas, which basically comes in one in every five pack with the sneak peek event that's coming on. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and thank you so much for watching as always. And be sure to like the video if you guys enjoyed it. Um, also, be sure to subscribe to the Evolve channel once again to stay tuned for more awesome epic Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG openings. There's still lots of other products upcoming in this month or two, so we will all basically definitely be opening one of those. And come check out what we're able to pull, epic pools coming along as well. And you guys have a great day, great night, wherever you are as always. And this is Evolve, signing out.